Um, quickly on the military this week. Uh, you, you've been watching on TV uh, the unbelievable irony of the Air Force Lieutenant Colonel who was charged with groping, who was also in charge of hearing sexual assaults in the military. Um, it's an unbelievable travesty. Uh, an average of more than 70 per day in the United States military during 2012, according to an annual report by the Department of Defense. I didn't make this up. It's from the Department of Defense. It rose, right? Now, um, it, his name is Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey Krasinski, and I'm sure he'll be crucified for this. But the point is this. Uh, others higher than him need to be crucified as well. He is but one cog in a giant horrible wheel of deceit and treachery uh, that's led to women, and, and speaking of the USO, when you go overseas and meet uh, the troops, um, you'll find that a good deal of them are women. They live in utter fear and uh, trepidation of being able to report these kind of things. What was it, 20,000 in the last year? And if anyone watched the senators this week, uh, Kristen Gillibrand and Claire McCaskill, you may remember Claire McCaskill because she notably beat Todd Mr. Legitimate Rape Aiken in her race for the Senate seat. Uh, they were giving the senators a good once over about whether, tw uh, or they were giving rather uh, the heads of the um, um, military's uh, uh, legal departments, the once over, on whether 20,000 sexual assaults reported a year was acceptable. <laughs> Let me put it this way. If 20,000 men were reporting being sexually assaulted by women every year in the military, it wouldn't be acceptable. It's that fucking simple. This is from GQ, which I happened to buy today for my plane ride. In it is an article about all the women, because women are allowed in combat coming up, uh, who have been fighting in combat already, and many of whom are decorated with silver stars, purple hearts, and whatnot. This is from Staff Sergeant Marty Ribeiro from the Air Force. My Sergeant Major gave me a knife when I got to Afghanistan. The knife wasn't for the bad guys, it was for the guys in our uniform. I'm a five foot eight and blonde, so I got the nickname Combat Barbie. When I was raped, I'd put my weapon in the wooden rack in the guard duty station, and then I'd walk 10 feet to have a cigarette. It happened so fast, I don't know if I would have been able to use my weapon. I've watched enough Law & Order SVU to know that you don't go take a shower. The person I reported the assault to was female, and she told me because I'd left my weapon 10 feet away, I'd be charged with dereliction of duty. So I didn't report it. For the remaining two and a half months of my deployment, I didn't tell a soul. I went numb. When I got home, I lashed out at my husband, not knowing it was the psychological crap I was dealing with. It caused us to separate and eventually divorce. I've never truly been able to get back. The perpetrator works for the Department of Defense and hasn't suffered any repercussions. Now, I'm not reading this to you to bum you out beyond all measure. I'm reading this to you because the time has come today, time, as the Chambers brothers said, when... The head of the Sexual Assault Division, Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey Krasinski, head of the Air Force SAPRO, SAPRO program, um, gropes a woman and gets his ass kicked for it. And then we find out that 20,000 women, 70 a day. And then I read something like this testimony of this noble sergeant. I support the troops as much as anyone. I believe and the people who serve in the military because they're not making policy. They are serving in a giant organization where they have no say in what they do. When we've allowed women to join it and be this much a part of it, doesn't it behoove us as a country to make ourselves great once again? And not just pay lip service to this, but to really, as uh, Obama said so, and I, I hate to say this about it, but it was true. On the night I was watching him on the news and he went, we can't allow this stuff to happen. It's not stuff. It's sexual assault. And that's what it has to be called, sexual assault. It's not stuff. And he said they're going to chase everybody down. They're going to catch everybody. Let's do it this time. Let's demand it. I know for several reasons. One, it's the right thing to do. Two, um, these are our sisters. Um, they're people, and they're also serving. They're soldiers, so they deserve the respect that any soldier would get. And most of all, um, why are we letting this go on forever and ever and looking the other way? Because it's a male-oriented organization they're in. If you're going to let them be in it, then we have to man up and grow a fucking clit and stop attacking women and put the men who do it away. And I'm not talking about these low-level people. I'm talking about the generals and shit who run this. And Yeah, and here's ultimately why... Thank you. Here's ultimately why. We're paying for this. 
right? I mean, every how much of your dollar goes to the defense budget? Every tax dollar that you pay. We're not just paying for this. We're paying almost everything of our tax money for this. So we have the right to demand that it be run fair and fucking square. And that the sexual assault, when you read something like this, it makes your heart break. Heartbreak. And it should make their fucking heart break. And you know what? I'm so sick of watching middle-aged men with fucking epaulets and ties on look down at the ground when they're being scolded by fucking middle-aged women. I mean, take it like a fucking man. You know? Fucking Kristen Gillibrand's up there going, do you find this acceptable? And they go, well, policy and blah, blah. No, 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 no. Take your dick out and let it be spanked. Because that's what this requires. Your inability and lack of self-control to control yourself in sexual assault is not women's problem. They're them tempting you with their femality and you in a male world and you just can't resist and shit. That's not their problem anymore. And we have to make it all of our fucking problem all the fucking time.